What is up, fellow anglers? So I got some exciting news to bring to the channel today. Um, I bought a boat, as you guys can uh, see from the title of this video. So I've been pondering in my head the last few weeks, months, years that yeah, I had a different John boat, and it was pretty much junk. So I uh, took it upon myself. I bought a 12-foot Starcraft John boat, nice trailer. Brand new cover with a great price. <laughs> so, no, the main reason that I bought this boat was for one to improve this channel, but for two, it's been a big dream of mine to you know eventually own my own boat, and uh, it's it's been a dream come true. Cause you know if I'm gonna take my fishing experience to the next level, you're gonna need a boat to get out in waters. You can't just bank fish. Bank fishing is awesome. It's that's where my it's where my roots. It's where I began. And uh, so I figured, you know what, I need to buy a boat. And for me, at this time in my life, a John boat was uh, what I needed. So let's take a look at it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Again, yeah, it was, uh, like I said, the main reason was, of course, to improve the channel, but like I said, it's a dream of mine to uh, own one of these, and, you know, it's not a big bass boat, it's not, it's nothing too big, but in my point, in my time in, like, life right now, I guess I, I'm not really too prepared for a bass boat, I would love one, but, uh, for money reasons, and I don't really have a big enough uh, vehicle to haul it with, so this was definitely the best choice for me. So, like, and in an upcoming video, I'm gonna be uh, touring my brother's bass boat that he just brought. My brother-in-law's bass boat he just brought. But because if you do the math, if he wants to fish at a little lake that he can't get out there with the bass boat because there's no launch, and you obviously aren't just gonna carry a bass boat to the dam side of a bank and launch it so we could take this out and if I want to fish a big body of water surprisingly this boat right here can hold a 10 horsepower horsepower motor and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy one I might just throw the trawler on it and just go from there but like I said if if I want to hop on a big body of water I can just hop on his boat and fish but somewhere down the line I might uh might buy a big motor for it so I can take it in these big bodies of water but like I said if I really wanted to I can just hop in his boat we can go fish and if he wants to fish a small body of water that he can't dick his boat out on then we have mine so it's kind of a win-win deal here like I said I want to eventually buy a nice horsepower motor for it that's going to fit it comfortably and not make it too heavy and all that yada yada because obviously you want something that's going to be able to haul you and you know works <laughs> sufficiently and not be too heavy but I guess I will just take this out if I really need to be. Um, but yeah, you guys already saw a preview of it. But I mean, here she is. Nice little StarCraft John boat. I mean, the trailer struck my interest too. I, you could throw one of these right in the back of a friggin' truck and just be good. But what's the sense? I mean, the trailer's in really good condition. The boat itself's in good condition. 
One of the key features right there, so I just rolled it up so you guys get a better look with this cover right here. It's gonna save this boat. I mean, if you really think about it, it will uh, keep this boat's life to last longer because obviously it's in really good condition. There's a little water in there right now because it just got done pouring. But it will keep this boat and uh, make it last longer with that cover. I mean, just that cover keeping the rain out of it, keeping the weather off of it. It works. So, I mean, it hauled good. My dad's truck the other day. And I guess I can't be like too much, too much more happier. If that even makes sense. If, I, if, if that's even English. If, if, if that's even English, we'll just say that's English. But I guess I can't be any happier than how this turned out. It's been, uh, like I said, a little dream I've been thinking about for at least a couple years, but definitely the last few months it really hit me, you know. I gotta really start looking. Yes, it's a used boat, obviously not brand new, and I'm sure you guys can see that. Same thing with my brother-in-law. He bought a used bass boat. He got a steal, man. Yeah. I can't, I cannot wait <laughs> to show you guys a tour of that. Um, this is like a little short clip. I just want to show you guys the boat. You know, you get, keep you guys updated, obviously, because who doesn't like it? Like I said, <laughs> you should have saw the weather this morning. It freaking rained all day morning. I was at work, just got home, and stopped raining, so. Just gotta do a couple last things with this boat, you know. Get everything switched over in my name, so it's not in the buyer, I mean, the seller's name. Get the trailer and everything registered, good to go. You know, you don't want no tickets while your guys are out there. Follow the laws. Yeah, if you don't have a fishing license, get a fishing license. If you're gonna be fishing on the bodies of water, that need one. Because it's not worth the ticket. It's gonna be a lot cheaper to buy the damn license than for you to just get the ticket, so. I'm going to do things legally, I'm not just going to go launch a boat and get a ticket for it because, you know, I really want to be paying more if I can just do it legally and not get the ticket, obviously, but, so, I'm excited, hope you guys are excited to come along with me out there and do that, um, another new th uh, topic I'm going to get on, yes, I got a, I don't even know, hopefully the call, car hauls it, if not, I always have a truck to haul it with, but, hopefully the car hauls it, because if not, I mean, I'm going to have to put a hitch on the car. So that'd be some something fun to do, but it, it's a dream come true. Like I said, I can't repeat it enough, enough, enough. I know it's probably getting annoying to hear it a thousand times in this video, but a little troll more, throw that bad boy in there. Should take me wherever I want to go. Deep cycle, battery, and give her the go. You know, I mean, I'm just excited. I mean, it, now it's really getting into that prime season where <coughs> bass are gonna be spawning. I've probably been saying that for like last and then I didn't know it was going to snow the rain, so. I promise they're going to be spawning soon if they haven't already in where you are fishing, but they're going to be spawning up here. They're going to be on beds. You can't just bank fish when he's fishing on beds. You have to be out casting into them, so. It's all the basic stuff that a boat can just get you places where you can't just bank fish and catch these bass. You can go in the deeper water when it's cold, where you know you can't get where the bank is, so. All this good jazz, which I'm sure you guys already know, so. I'm excited, obviously, and yeah, I'm excited to show you my brother-in-law's bass boat that he just bought. Everything's exciting on this channel, guys. Just be excited, because you never know what's going to do, because the news is going to come. And I guess I can't spend all my life savings, but I'm going to keep uh, bringing you guys the best videos. I appreciate the view. If you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, turn on that little bell notification so you get a notification every time I upload a video. Smash the thumb, the thumbs up button. Just, just keep going, guys. You guys are the best subscribers out there. So I'm going to end it there. And you guys have a great night. Peace.